I've seen some patients that get it and they say it's a 10 out of 10 with the like, pain. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Choi with North Texas Dental Surgery, and I wanted to go over a common question that I have from patients. So we've all heard of dry sockets, right? And so I know that some patients are definitely terrified because they've heard of some horror stories about dry sockets, and you definitely should be terrified. So dry sockets, I've seen some patients that get it, and they say it's a 10 out of 10 with like, pain. So, and typically, you know, I'll go a little bit deeper into this, but it's something that we see with smokers and adults. So number one thing that I would recommend for you to um, avoid dry socket is definitely get your wisdom teeth out as a teenager. So as long as you're a teenager and you don't smoke, um, chances are very, very, very little that you would ever develop dry socket. I've done probably about 10,000 cases in my career and I honestly can't remember the last time I saw somebody get dry socket as a teenager. Um, advice number two would be definitely you need to not smoke. Okay, so dry socket is definitely more associated with smokers. So if you need to get your wisdom teeth out, then I would definitely try to plan out your surgery maybe a week or two weeks ahead and definitely not smoke or vape heading into that procedure. Smoking due to all the chemicals that are in the smoke um, have a tendency to prevent that um, blood clot from even developing and also um, can really interfere with the healing process. So definitely no smoking. Um, advice number three would be to no uh, sucking through straws or no sucking type of motion. And the reason we say that is that because that blood clot that develops in your jaw, so when we remove your wisdom teeth, what's essentially happening is that we're taking that wisdom tooth out from that socket area, right? So when we take that wisdom tooth out, immediately what happens is the blood starts coming to the area and starts trying to form a blood clot. And when that really happens is that um, sometimes through sucking motion too soon, um, after the procedure, whether through a straw, but what can happen essentially is that the blood clot becomes dislodged and then exposes the dry bone in that area with the nerves associated. So that can be extremely painful. So again, avoid the, any sort of sucking motion through straws. Um, another final piece of advice is that if you're ever gonna get your wisdom teeth removed, um, definitely try to stick with a soft diet um, for several days after the procedure. So again, after the procedure, when you've established that blood clot in the area, you really wanna do a really good job of not messing with it and trying to let it heal. So really don't disturb with the area. So eat um, and drink soft uh, and liquids, again, not using a straw, and just be very uh, gentle back in that area to avoid dry socket. So again, that way we can allow that clot to form properly until the, the socket can heal a little bit more. Mm -hmm.